Hi everybody and welcome to another video and today we are going to take a look at this particular object. This is Comet C2025A6 Lemon or Lemon. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. It has two M's but anyway this particular comet is a comet that is currently flying through the solar system and as many objects. However it has one particular feature. It is nice and visible not good for the naked eye but if you have binoculars or a telescope and you're living in a rather dark area then you have a chance in the evening sky currently and currently i mean end of october to have a look at this object and i would suggest that we take some open source solutions and also no coding experience required to see where this comet is so without further ado let's dive into the world of astronomy and Comet Lemon. And to show you where the comet is, I am using the software Stellarium. And Stellarium is an open source software that you can run easily on Linux, Windows, or Mac. And it's a planetarium software that shows you the night sky and the current state. Now, now we have um, 10 p.m. in the evening German time, the winter time. So we just switched one hour in the last weekend. And we have all the stars and per default we have also major objects already loaded in the software and for this we are just searching with command or if you're on a mac with a command f and there we are we have already c2025 a6 lemon and you see there are also other lemons so if you search for lemon you will find also other other comets with this particular name but we take the a6 one. Oh, i just misclicked let's click again and we have here a6 lemon. Now we press the space bar and we go to it and we do not see it because well it is already below the horizon and here it is the coordinates are particularly for my place here in West, southwest Germany in Stuttgart. So let's remove the ground and maybe also the atmosphere so we see here the comet is there and let's turn on again the atmosphere and also the ground and we see it's currently below it. So if we go back in time a little bit let's Put it like this, just only a few hours back when I was not at home yet. Then we have like here around yeah, 7 p.m. and we have here the comet now above the horizon. We have here also the coordinates and if we go and take a look at the altitude, it's around 16 degrees above the horizon. So if we zoom in, we see it should be somewhere there and yeah some satellites are flying as well. What can we do to orient ourselves? We can turn on the constellations also the constellation names and there we have for example Hercules and Hercules is kind of um, if you're a little bit let's say aware of constellations it's kind of let's not I wouldn't say easy but it's very remarkable if you know where to look and you just have to look to the west and if you take a look at the west you see that can you go down and then we have here somewhere the comet. Now the brightness here is provided with 10.09. What does 10.09 mean? It means it's basically invisible for the naked eye and it's basically invisible for any binocular. So why did I tell you the binocular thingy? Well, the point is here in Stellarium we have the coordinates, they are precise, but we do not have the most recent values in regards of the brightness. And for this, I would go, I would suggest to go to a website or to two websites where we have current observations of the comet that gives us a hint how bright the comet is. So let's leave Stellarium and go to the web. So we're here on the website cops.si and here we have some observation data also on our second tab I will show you in a moment. And here we have some observations from visual observations and also from telescope science with a fit and also the expected perihelion pass which is like beginning of November which means the comet will there on the closest approach to the sun. And there we see that the brightness is around 3.6, 3.7, something like that. It's a little bit chaotic here on this website. And what does it particularly mean? Well. In Stellarium we have a value estimation of around 10 because it doesn't provide the most recent values but you see also that the value is becoming smaller with time and smaller values in the magnitude scale in astronomy means that an object is brighter so smaller magnitude equals brighter. The thing is it has very very historical reasons it goes even back to the time of the Greek, Greeks where they say yeah the brightness of the star Vega is zero 
and the most faintest object we see with the naked eye is six and then let's separate it in some categories one two three four five and six and since our eye has something like a logarithmic amplifier so to speak it doesn't mean that the value between four and five means there's a linear relation of the brightness is a logarithmic scale but i already made some other videos in the past maybe i will create an update in this regard now the thing is now we have end of october so hurry up with your binoculars because this thing is bright and you can see it now if we take a look to the other website erith.net it's also um you may say oh this doesn't look like the most recent website this website is like really the gold standard of uh yeah amateur astronomy for comets this Plots here provide a lot of information and we see here the development of the brightness in the beginning of 2025 it was a magnitude of 22 it's ultra faint you can say and then at some point it went up yeah probably this is not a hundred percent correct i think it's maybe some kind of computational artifact because of the gap here and we see the brightness is almost there and it will be around 4 3.5 so if you have binoculars, go outside and take a look at the comet. Of course, you will not see an image like here or here. These are photo, photo, photo these are done with, from, with, um, I lost the words because I'm so excited. Uh, these are photos from some amateur astronomers with the right equipment and also ex long enough ex exposure time. But hurry up. You see also here in the complex um, graph where the comet is moving apparently. It's currently now around here as we saw it in Stellarium and it has the perfect brightness for you to observe. So, don't watch too many YouTube videos. Um, I hope hopefully you saw this until the end, um, this video here until the end. And I would suggest if it's evening and you have the right conditions and the weather is good, take a look outside. It's not cloudy. Take your binoculars, go outside, take a look at the comet. And if you have seen it, just leave a comment. If the weather is bad, well, you can also leave a comment. At least you can see it in Stellarium and also on the websites. Until next time.